Yo! Video games. The Castlevania one. I just want to see it and look at it. There you go. Right. You, can, you can try Simmons Quest. Yeah, it's not as fun without the fire sword, though. Castlevania. Oh, the member berries in this one. Uh, yeah, Angel Glory. Go to Five Guys, order a burger with everything on it. Um, don't eat them too much, they're expensive, but they are very good. Five Guys makes great burgers, they're my favorite burgers. Merrick the Gunslinger, I'll never complain about a four frame rates in modern games ever again. Thank you, Ghosts and Goblins. Nice! Yeah, dude, perspective, right? Yeah. Fucking perspective. I think it's hard to watch. Scrub Lord Kenny is here from Neo Console. Supreme Lord Kenny says, What's good, guys? What's good? Put an 895. Big Mac the Caveman again says, Hello, or body. Still drunk. When's Duck Lord Steve? Stop ducking us, Steve. Quack. Nice. Put an 895. Steve loves that one. I love it. Steve I loves love it. it. This is the greatest meme ever. Scott Aaron says, Hooray for NES horse shit. Yay, shine on dudes. Uh, Era Bros the Chaotic says, Only real men. Drink, fight, and have sex in a graveyard, then play Ghosts and Goblins. Thank you for the 777, Air Bros. Taco Bell Big Box 541 to say, Max, Kenny, and Simmons, love all the work and content you guys make. Uh, you are an inspiration to me in my film work. I can't wait for all the things you will continue to do. God bless from Tortuga Time. Thank you! That is insane. Thank That's you awesome, very much, man. Tortuga yeah, Time. Yeah, it's, it's you guys that complete ena completely enable us to make and get amazing stuff. So Max thank is you, still dude. the only guy on YouTube to make a full-length movie on, on Twitch. Sorry, not on YouTube, but the full-length movie on Twitch. So. Live, we made three. Three, man. We've made three. Insane. I think, uh, and on and on YouTube, and there... Oh, yeah, I, I, I actually days. looked it up. There's no other Aliens fan films that are over, like, 10 to 20 minutes. We put on a 50-minute Aliens fan film. That's relatively well produced. Yeah. And somewhat thought out. Sorta. Of, kind of. Even if it's a parody, it's still fucking and like, I, and really I think well thought out and really well uh The biggest together. reason is that no one has a convincing fucking alien costume. And we that <laughs> well, was the fucking That was shit. the first thing we did was like, alright, the budget's budget, going into yeah. the alien costume. Yeah, and make it look Way to toot your own horn, Mac. It is. Yep. We did it. Man. Yeah, yeah, you got to. We did it, man. If it's we, good, it's good. We shit. got the costume, we made the fucking movie. There is no other alien movies yeah. on YouTube, which There's is kind of weird. How many are comedy? That's true. There's no alien comedy parodies that are out there. I like. found a couple, but they didn't. They they would like use footage from the movie of Aliens and stuff like oh, that mm. when the alien comes in. Rest in peace, dude. Alien. Oh yeah. Yeah, rip, dude. Alien. He, we lost. He he died very young. What the hell are you gonna talk about? They, remember the emote, dude. Alien. We had on the night of the Aliens movie. Oh, yeah. That we yeah. got approved oh, yeah, that of fast. on that day and got removed on the <laughs> same, same day. <laughs> and it got unrightfully removed because it was original artwork. Right. Yeah. Force balls. And it never came back, right? Because you still don't have it. No. Nope. I mean, I could I could bring it back, but yeah. it was horse balls. We should not have lost it. Yeah. I think there's something in there. There we go. That's uh. Cervante! Oh, Luna is you. so cute. Thank you very much, Cervante. Super Spargle! Thank you, Spargle. Cervante again says, Damn you, Max, Huskies are my weakness. Ah. Cervante again put in 20 bucks to say, Luna emote fund, let's go! It's eventually gonna have to happen, right? If we get Luna on the channel enough, then yeah, it's gonna have to happen. We have the alien, do alien on the Discord. On our Discord. Uh -huh. It's back on Discord? Good! Good. Overlord Knives says, get some treats for those cute puffers. Hopefully you have a good week. Keep on rocking. Thank you so much, Knives. 15 bucks from Big Mac the Caveman again to say, shots, dudes! Shots. He's been drunk all night. Play it right, you fuck! <laughs> Cap up from Zem. Chaos TX. A oh, hundred fucking dollars. I'll, I'll trigger that one again. Boom, bam, there it is. He says, here's some rupees. Ah! Thank you so much, Chaos TX. God damn, dude. That is the top dude of the night, I'm pretty sure. Although, a thousand bits? No, it has to be 10,000 bits to, to match that. Thank you very much, Chaos. Goddamn, dude. Yeah, but Linkle, though, from Zem. T of JL says, I feel com uh, compelled to make a dumb straw poll, too, since there's apparently a thing tonight. Link below if you wish to share. What is the best Final Fantasy? Kingdom Hearts, Senran, Kagura, Chrono Trigger, or Castlevania 2? Chrono II? Trigger. Simmons Quest. Yeah, Chrono Trigger is pretty much a. Well, why don't you see which was winning? Oh, was that was it actually a poll taken? I don't know if there's any uh, Chrono Trigger results. 
Fuck, man. I'm trying yeah, to get a cool pose. It wasn't, the actually, uh, wasn't actually taken. You okay. liked Castlevania 2? Yes, it was a really fun game. Yeah. Really wrong, man. Uh, it was play dope as shit. shit. Yeah, I played it. JJ, yeah. try Kirby, please. Play it. I mean, we did play it. Kirby, though. Oh, well, Max wanted to see it. Anonymous that. says, you guys oh, are still streaming? Play. It's late. You must have some hell and nostalgia for the NES. I just realized it's 3.30 in the morning. Right. Holy well, shit. To prove that game is good. Razorath, 21 bucks to say grats on beating Ninja Gaiden, Steve. Sorry for all the ducking puns. <laughs> apologize and donate. Awesome. Like Thank you, dude. Thank you. Shit. And Fun Fat Guy says, yes, Simmons is right about butts and lips. Confirmed it. And donate it again. Thank you, Fun Fact. Thank you, Razorath. Thank you, everybody. God damn. I hope you enjoyed our Nintendo night. Tomorrow we'll have PS4 Pro night. We're gonna get we're gonna be we're gonna be all pro. Like I said, for people who don't play RPGs, this game was actually pretty fucking cool. But since I don't play RPG, like wow. those guys just bum rush your dick right at the start and you yeah, know. Well, you know how much awful this game was in Japan? Going between that screen and the screen out there took about two to four minutes. I mean, on the Famicom disc system. Oh, Famicom fucking okay. Well I need a better weapon. You can't do anything without good weapons in this fucking game, so. Um, playing this game to start, you had to grind the shit out. I mean, that's what well, it that is. sounds like fun. Well, it's an RPG! You had to fucking grind! That was the whole point. Well, good RPGs allow you to make progression and level up, but a lot of the older ones suck. Well, yeah, you had to- you- you definitely had to do that here, too. Okay, so this is the right way, so I was going the wrong way. <laughs> Cause, yeah. Very slow werewolf, guys. Why am I getting- Why am I getting my health? Didn't they flip it like hearts recover magic or some shit? Yeah, or something like that. I don't fucking know. Oh, well, hearts always did. Yeah, hearts were always magic. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the music was fucking great. The fucking, like, the atmosphere was awesome, dude. Like, you had to. You, like, I remember me and my brother, like, uh, like, dude, we have to get back to the, um. We have to get back to this, uh, the town. We have to hurry, you have to hurry, because if you didn't, you get stuck out here. Yeah, it's with a terrible a night for a with, curse. Yeah, and you get stuck out here, and it was. That it was guy cool was because. was awkwardly attractive for a fish man. Yeah. That hell, That guy? Yeah. He was awkwardly attractive. He looks for a like the man. fucking golem from the Hobbit cartoon. Oh fuck! What, what a horrible, horrible night, night to, to have, have a curse every yeah. fucking time, right? But it was dope. Like you, you knew you had a certain amount of time to get across, so you, you made sure that you, uh, you, you made sure you garnered your time correctly. That's all. And then he died. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. And then he died. You're looking at me like, oh, that's terrible. No, you just had to get good. You needed a better fucking weapon. I needed better weapons. Fuck. And then he died. <laughs> I needed better weapons. I needed better fucking... And uh... then he had to restart. No. Yeah, it wasn't Ninja Gaiden. Fuck. That's a horrible spot because I don't have the weapons to... And then he died. I don't have the weapons to handle this. That's all. Oh, uh, Bullet Man, I disagree strongly. I still think Golem is one of the best CG creature characters in movies. I love the idea of traveling and Golem. discovery. It's it's fucking uh, Bloodborne. Did, it's not I'll, Bloodborne. I'll, I'll um, give you that. I do like the open world app. Yeah, I dude. You travel and you fucking you discover new. But areas it's like the shit where it's like, oh, go have this ring equipped and go kneel in front of this thing. Yeah. This edge of a cliff. Yep. And then a tornado will. Nintendo magically Power come was the only way. Yeah. You like, knew there's how no to do way it. you would know how to do this. On no, your you would have to go to Nintendo Power. That yeah. was one of the that's things. That's like me okay. and my brother. That's like the same thing with Zelda. It was like yeah, me and my brother. Zelda in this game, you need a fucking Nintendo Power to do it. Yeah. Something like like I, if, like I got to the point in the, Zel in the yeah. Zelda playthrough today I was something where I had an item that could progress me somewhere. Yo, Angel Glory! Just duck and weave, Steve! Duck and weave. Thank you. Head. You know what's crazy is that um, me and my brother would actually do that. We would know that we were in a bad spot and it would turn and a night would hit, so we would just sit there and wait for yeah. it. Because it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be a good idea to, to keep moving on like that with that. So I got a, point, a part in the Zelda game today where I had a candle that could... That could Progressively burn a bush to allow me to continue to a new area. Yeah, but there is like a thousand bushes and so I yeah, can use the pretty... candle once Per screen and I had to refresh the screen and there's no information anywhere so far from any NPC is about where I should be going Yeah, so I just have to burn everything and pray it actually works. Yeah And I was just like, okay, I mean, this... that's not what you're supposed to be doing exactly. There's a you... There's a lot of dungeons, most of the dungeons you can just walk right into. You I didn't just, find any. You just didn't see them. Yeah. Didn't see them? They're, they're holes, right? Yeah, they had the big fucking face and mouth on them. Yeah, I didn't I didn't run into any other one. 
You didn't explore very much. I felt like I did. I felt like I made a big circle, came around. around you kind of hovered straight. around the southwest corner of that map the whole time. It's actually a bigger map than you might realize, but... Shoot. It's funny because there were a couple times where you were like a screen. Like literally a screen away from a dungeon. But I ended up finding the first dungeon, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is technically that the first That was level dungeon. one. It'll tell you to you go in and I'm too level far. I can't, so. I can't beat this area because my whip is too weak. I have to... I think like one of the churches here, um, or one of the rooms... You did just pass the church. Yeah, I know. But I have to wait until daytime. Let me go upstairs on the other side. Until daytime hits, and then I might be able to come back and get like something upgraded or something like that. But that's how this game was, man. You, you had to manage your time correctly. You had to manage like uh, what you had, um, and how you traveled was very crucial. Yeah, see, it's the, the morning, morning sun has vanquished the, the horrible night. night. Now loading. Man, I love this game. This game was dope, man. This game was so I think like Zelda 2, this game was just too far ahead of its time. And the technology wasn't quite there to make it what it was. work. Yeah. Like There's... completely. Like Zelda 2, I feel if Zelda 2 was remade with Symphony of the Night's engine, it would be an amazing fucking game. Like absolutely amazing game. But as it is, it's just a very clunky, ugly, stiff fucking like chore of a game. This game was shrouded in, uh, in religion, too. Like, I mean, a lot of Catholicism. Yeah, it was really, like, pushing Nintendo's, like, religion bands. Very Catholicistic. Catholic. Well, I mean, Catholicism. Catholicistic. Statistic. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but that's the whole premise of fucking Dracula, anyways, that people, you know, use, like, holy water and stuff like that to stop them. Like, certain spots here, you would have to talk to the people. Yeah. And, uh, then they would reveal something in these rooms and shit like that. Crazy stuff like that, man. This this game had a lot of like a lot of a lot of shit to it, man. And meeting Dracula for the first time, you can go to Dracula like right now and fight him. I thought him. he's just pieces and you have to assemble him. Yeah, you have to assemble him and uh, oh yeah, that's right, that's right, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can't just go to him. You can go to his area, but you he he wouldn't be there. He'd just be, you know, nothing there. And his curse would still be there, so you I mean the whole entire thing is to stop the curse. And man, the final fight with him was dope as fuck. I remember me and my brother were just like, oh shit, it's time, we got everything, let's go. But we were we were all excited and shit like that. Like, he, like, doesn't this guy die at the end of the game or some shit? Simon? Yeah. Nah. Nah, he takes out, he takes out. Uh, spoiler alert, but nah, he doesn't die. I thought I died or something. I thought it was like some weird ending to it. What, what kind of upset me is that after this game, I, I really didn't see too much uh, Simon after this. Like, after this game, I didn't see Simon in any of the other Castlevanians. Well, in 3, you start Trevor Belmont. Yeah, you start changing Belmonts. And Alucard's in, in Part 3. Yeah, so and you focus me, on that. I'm like, what happened to Simon? I'm really depressed that, like, the Lords of Darkness games were just bad. They are just poor action games. He dies, they could be cool. he dies in the bad ending. Oh, okay. There's a bad ending in this game. Nice. Good to know. You probably didn't get like all the pieces, or, or you, like you missed out on something. Like right now, being stuck out here, like when it's like this, is is a nightmare. You gotta get to the city. You gotta get to the town anyway. And I have no idea where I'm at right now. I gotta find uh, I gotta find a better whip, uh, but I don't know how to. It's get an it. interesting game. It is. It's a dude. It's a great. But game. the problem is, yeah, it's like the Lord of the Shadow. It's not a pr it's not a problem now because there's fucking internet. But this shit would have been infuriating as a kid. Right, because they they, <laughs> they made you do stuff that wasn't in the game. You know who else did that? Google 13. Yeah, Google 13. Who remembers Google 13, I do. guys? I remember Google 13. Holy shit, there was so much shit in there that you just, there's no chance of you ever knowing. <laughs> like, there's That's no like a weird adventure kind of like, almost like, like detective game. Oh, yeah, it's gas. No, so that's an anime, Gold Girl 13. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's an adult ass anime. Oh, yeah. He fucked a lot of girls in that anime, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I think that was like. It wasn't hentai either. It was just. No. He fucked girls in the, in well, the anime. Well, that was the thing. Not, like, anime used to have, like, sex and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. But it wasn't a, it wasn't a straight porno. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all the, all the guy, who was the guy's name who did Ninja Scroll? The director for, like, Ninja Scroll and Vampire Hunter D. Chubb! Chubb, what's months. up? 20 months, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, the guy who did those movies, Wicked City, Ninja Scroll, Blood, Vampire Hunter D. Bloodlust, he used to have, like, just, yeah, there were some, there usually were some pretty... Non-consensual sex scenes in his movies. Yeah, yeah. Like, we'd always have sex scenes, but it's 
tended to be of the non-con variety. Right. But, like, it wasn't a hentai, it's just, there's a movie and then this guy fucks a chick. <laughs> and it's, it's very much like a traditional R-rated American movie. Yeah, American movie. Yeah, American movie. I swear, like, Americans just don't take animation seriously. They don't like making animations that with adult themes in them. It. It's just the weirdest thing to me. Oh, Bojack remembers, I think we were playing the game at the same time. Lords of Shadow. The hitboxes yeah, I heard the action are fucking aspect. retarded. The hit aspect of Lords of Shadow, I mean, the action aspect of Lords Absolutely of Shadow. Absolutely retarded. Because it even, it, it does this thing when you die, it zooms in and slow-mos. Slow-mo zoom in. So when you die from something hitting you from four feet away, the game points it out! Ha! <laughs> you got hit by nothing. I gotta get back to the city, holy shit. Like, it was a very pretty game, but it... And it was long, but fuck. It was long and my dog. It sucked. Like, it wa like, you wanted it to be good, but it wasn't. I tried very briefly to try to play Lords of Shadow 2. And oh, I heard that one's boring as shit. I I was bored to tears in the first like forty minutes. Really? I was just like, yeah, this is. Well, it's like it looks good. They went off the crazy ending of the first one and said in modern times, but it's like modern times are boring. <laughs> the double decker. It's just about as big as a PS3. Yeah, PS4. It, it's a double decker of the new Slim model. Yeah, it's like, like take Slim and then double deck it. The Slim it's, is literally just removed the Big Mac middle. It's pretty much just about as big as a uh, regular PS4. Maybe it's a little Maybe bit taller. You can go into a house at night, can you? Ah, uh, no, you can. What, what, how do you, like, not fight at night, or you always fight at night? You always fight at night. I don't know, I find the PS4 design just to be really weird. Like, this awkward fucking... Kick-ass Predator fan film! Thank you! Nice. Was so that the one of, uh, yeah, the Crusade Predator movie? I've seen that one. That one's really good. Oh shit, I thought it was turning day. I was like, why the fuck is it not daytime? Seeing that, at a, a scenario it's like two this. Two USB ports. And it's got one in the back now. At a scenario like this, oh, where. Three USB ports. Nice. Oh wow, nice. Yeah. yeah. At a You're scenario like this, I only got that. two more pellets left, and, uh, it's yeah. nighttime. You have to wait. Like, you're at the church, you have to wait. Did they. Sucks. Guys, did they change the power cable on this bitch? I think they did. It's this thing and not the, uh... Oh, no, it's a, a tri-prom? It's a... No, it's a double. Yeah, they definitely do. But it's like a... a they they changed the power cable. Motherfuckers. I'm sure it's in there. Well, I mean, it is, but I have to, like, re... I thought I could just, like, literally unplug my PS3. Wow. PS4. You know what it looks like, though? It almost looks like... Oh, this is heavier shit. It almost looks like a PS3 one. Yeah, that's what it is. Just for the third problem. Yeah, they use one of these guys. I'm a little concerned that there's that some of the room, the leakers for Switch are saying there's three USB ports on Switch, and I'm like, that's not good because the Wii U had four. Yeah, and you need that for eight-player Smash.